Hi, welcome to another Polly video. This is the third time I've tried recording this voice of today because I've had a very cranky, screaming baby. So I'm hoping that he's happy and swing for a minute and I can record this video. Fingers crossed for the third time lucky. Um, so this is the, this one's kit from Polly. Um, I've used a white cardstock for the background, um, which you may have noticed if you've watched some other um, other process videos from me that I do quite a lot. Um, I feel that for me it just grounds the layout. Um, I don't feel comfortable using patterns as a whole background anymore. I used to, but um, lately I've found that white cardstock is generally something I use on every layout. Um, I was a bit stingy and I cut out the centre of this layout because I want I was using it as a background for the as base for the white cardstock and I did want to use some of that on the layout and I love the pattern so much that I didn't want to waste it behind the white cardstock. So I was stingy but you'll see later on that I did use it in the layout so it was worth it. Um yeah, so you can see that I and but I like both sides of that pattern too, so that was handy. Um yeah, so here I was playing around with the design and layout and where the photos might go. Um, I had trouble deciding on the design for this layout. I really wanted a grid style layout and it just wasn't going to happen. I've seen so many cool layouts like that and just, I cannot do it. I, I can't get the elements to sit right in that style. So maybe I'll try again, maybe with the right photos and the right paper it might work. But this particular layout, no. So I ended up moving them. But that's alright, trial and error. And I wasn't going to edit out the video because I want I want you to see that I'm not a perfect scrapbooker. As you can see right now, I'm not even measuring, I'm just cutting out the scissors. And I think that's partly to do with the fact that I only get 20 minutes a day to scrapbook these days, not a whole day like I used to. So, quick is good and I'm not perfect by any means and I don't ever want to be. So, you'll be able to see all my mistakes in this video, but that's alright. It's all good. So I've used that, what I'm using now is what I cut out of the centre of that paper. Um, so I did use it on the layer and this is when I decided to move things and work in a horizontal, a horizontal view line across the, um, the layout, which then when I moved those things, everything fell into place a lot easier than it did with the other design I was working with. Um, this is the Monami, I think that's how you say it, I'm not entirely sure, by Basic Grey. It was designed by Kelly Perky. Um, I'm just using one of the 3x4 cards. Um, probably not using it how you would expect to use it. I'm just one, part of one of my layers, really. Um, it had a good quote on it and it said something about adventure. I don't have the layer in front of me so I can't remember exactly what it said, but it fit well with what I was doing. Um, I did use some vellum from my own stash, the gold dot vellum, which is by Dear Lizzie and it's awesome and you can't buy any more, um, is from my own stash. Um, I would like to include vellum mostly in layers these days. Um, so yeah, this layer is actually about, um, there some random photos that I took last spring. Um, we had a really freak hail storm and on the same day it was sunny and we got this massive rainbow. So. These three pictures were taken at the same time and I thought they were a good everyday look at life and at the weather, Tasmanian weather. Like I, most of the journaling was really about how unpredictable Tasmanian weather can be because you can wake up here and it can be sunny and next minute it's snowy. So that was really what this layout was about. Um, this kit included some stamps. And I must admit that I'm really a lazy stamper. I don't get my stamps out very often because I'm just lazy and it's too much effort for me. But I did use them on this layout because they were included in the kit. And I did, I did like the look, so I might try and get my stamps out more. Maybe that should be my goal for this week. Or well, not really this week because I probably won't scrapbook again this week. But maybe this month. Um, oh, my son's having to crack it in the background. Awesome. We'll see if we can get through this video. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so that's my stamping. Um, this little stamp set was really cool because it had some little phrases on it that were great, even for Project Life, if you're into that, which 
I'm really behind in, but I'm sure some people that watch my videos do project life and know how hard it is to keep up, especially if you've got children um, that take up the majority of your day. So, yeah. Um, I'm just tacking everything down. I just decided to scribble a line around this photo for some reason. I don't really know why, but considering I didn't do it the other one, but there's no rhyme or reason to what I do really. Just let let it happen. Um, I just tacked everything down because I knew that I was going to stitch everything anyway because I stitch on every layout. So there was no point in me using heaps of adhesive when I was going to machine stitch it all down anyway. And I actually prefer machine stitching because I know that adhesive is not going to fail. Like the, like the adhesive might fail but the stitching won't. So I feel more comfortable with a layout knowing that I won't have to go glue things back down in a year's time because the, the adhesive has you know, dried up and things have fallen off the page which unfortunately has happened to a lot of my older pages so I am big on machine stitching now. So I did pause the video, came back, I stitched on the layout around the edge and I zigzag stitched around some photos. Now I'm using my favourite mist which is the Heidi Swap Colour Shine Black Velvet. Um, this is awesome if you want to do ink dots because it's a really runny mist and it does come out in large splatters which look really awesome so that's why it's my favourite. Um, now it was a matter of finding the right embellishments so I've used the wood veneer arrows that are included in the kit. Um, I'm not sure what brand these are. Um, but yeah, they're really cool. They're printed on, so they've got printed designs on them. And I've used the flare in the kit, which is from October afternoon. I'm not sure which range, but there was two included in the kit. And now I'm just distressing the edges, so I'm just running, using my finger now to turn up the paper to the stitching edge, which is why machine stitching is cool, because it you can just, it acts as sort of the, uh, I don't even know what words I'm using now, it um, allows you to pull it back to the stitching and it doesn't tear. Now these alphas, I got them out, I love them, but I had so much trouble because uh, they are huge. They're like probably an inch tall, or maybe, yeah, probably an inch. Um, and I didn't want the title to be the feature of the layout, so I didn't want to pick a huge word because they are really big. So I ended up going with day and just put um, on a spring day. Um, so I've used, I end up using three different alphabets because there's three different alphabet stickers included in the kit. So the other two were smaller. So I decided to just have a smaller word for big stickers and bigger words with the smaller, less stickers because that way it wasn't as big of a feature on that. It still is, but it's not. If I'd done the whole title on those stickers, it would have been huge. And some people might like that, but I didn't particularly want that for this, this layout. Um, so yeah, I've... And I did move things around. I, I always do that. I, ne I don't think I ever put the title where I originally stick it. I, I mean, I should really probably put it on some plastic first and decide where I want to go before I stick it. Because some letters aren't as forgiving as these ones. These um, alphabet stickers are from Lawn Fawn. I've actually, it's hard to get Lawn Fawn here in Australia, so these are cool because they were in the kit and they're hard to get. We don't have much variety here in Australia as America. Sometimes, like, I wish I could go to America just to go scrapbook shopping. Although it doesn't really appeal to me for a holiday, but I'm more of an Asia person. These are the, um, I think they're called mini monogram stickers and they're from Basic Grey. I'm not sure if they're from the same one as the paper in the kit or not, but they're fabulous. And you get heaps, this is only a little strip of the ones that you actually get if you buy the full sheet. You get heaps of alphas on it. So they'd be awesome for Project Life. Um, I should get a few more sheets actually. I'm sure that I actually have a ton of sheets of these, but I don't actually know where they are. Um, somewhere in my stash. And now I'm just doing my journaling, which is a black pen. Handwriting, which I don't do enough of. I hate my handwriting with passion, but it was kind of muted because it was in the villain pocket, so I thought, hey, why not? Because you can't really see it as much. Um, so yeah, that's cool. 
and I was just writing about how unpredictable the weather was. Um, I was actually house sitting in these photos because that's not my cat. But <laughs> yeah, so um, I thought it was nice for once to actually get some journaling on this private page. Because I choose to use my printer mainly for journaling, it's like a bit of an effort, which is a common theme throughout this video that I'm saying I'm lazy with everything, but you know, when you've got a three month old baby, you don't get a lot of time scrapbooks, so I don't have a great deal of time to be fussy. Um, and I want to get his pages at least done this year because I don't want to be doing them. You know, I don't want to be doing his baby photos in three years' time when the memories aren't as fresh in my mind. So I have to find practical ways of scrapbooking. And unfortunately, that doesn't mean I get to sit there and do fussy scrapbooking like I used to because I just don't get the time anymore. Hopefully, soon things will settle down. Um, I was just choosing some embellishments to add. These weren't the kit, but these were the wood veneer stars from last month's kit, and I still have heaps of them left. So. I decided to put some on the page um, and some wood grain sequins, which I did get from Ruth, uh, her owns Polly. So I love them, like, I've been using them heaps. They're from Studio Calico in the Essentials line, I think. And this was a wood veneer cloud tab, which I cut out for my select cameo, which I thought was appropriate because cloud weather. So I thought I would use that. And I also used some of the wood dots, wood enamel dots, but they're not enamel, so they're really just called wood dots from my mind's eye. Um, they are so cool, and I think I need it on a winner because they release more and they're slightly more expensive for less dots, but hey, they know everyone's still going to buy them because they can't get them anywhere else, so, and I'm going to be a sucker because I'll probably buy heaps of them once again. So I've used some of the cork that was included in the kit as well. Um, got all the trends on this page actually, cork, wood grain, um, and vellum. They're kind of three things that I see quite a bit of at the moment. So I think this might be where I called it done, maybe. I think, oh, I'm just going it down. So I think this is where I called it done. And yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out overall. Um, it was nice to get some photos that weren't baby related or anything on a page because I don't scrapbook the everyday very often. I barely get time to scrapbook Elijah, so <laughs> yeah, it was nice to be able to do a page like this and be able to just sit down and use a poly kit that was already pre-packed. I could just sit down and scrapbook and that was fabulous. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope if you've got the kit you're inspired to um, whip it out and make a page. So thanks so much for watching. Bye!